Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the canvas that I poured this morning, trying to get little cells. And I'm just going to have a little go, see if it's ready at some little fairy kisses. So tiny little balloons, these are just water balloons. So the best thing to do to make your little uh, fairy kisses I call them balloon dips if I'm doing big ones, but if I'm doing little ones, I just call them little fairy kisses. So the best thing to do is when you're doing this, look for a section of cells. So there's four there, and then you press the balloon right into the center. So it draws in those four cells to make a petal. I'm just gonna use the small one. I've got, as I said, I've got the bigger one and the little one. They're both small though. So I'm just going to go into the centre of those, press very lightly and straight up. So what it does, it just pulls those five little cells together to make a petal. So then have a look and see where else you can join, you know, three or four or maybe five little cells together. If you've got a bigger opening between your cells, you might want to use... A bigger balloon. Uh, let's see where else can we go. I might just go in here. So I've left my paint to sit for a few hours. See how the paint's dragged back over itself? That means that it's still too too thick. There's too much paint on there. So just go again until you get a nice little effect. And there, there's a few there. There's three on that side and a three on that side. So I'll just lightly press in the center sometimes they make pretty little flowers sometimes not so pretty and then you might have to go over them again so they're not all going to be amazing some are going to be better than others but just have a little play around with them uh, where else where else will i go right in the middle of that section there i think So you don't need to press down very deeply. You just want to press lightly, just enough to catch the surrounding cells. Now there's a little group there of cells. I'm just going to go right in the middle with a slightly bigger balloon. So there's quite a lot of paint still there. I was hoping that, you know, letting this canvas sit for a few hours would be enough, but it's obviously not quite enough and it's still, it's still making quite a big puddle there. But that's how you do it. It's, it's quite fun. And if you happen to have a cell that you don't particularly like the look of, you can always dip into it. Now I know that I've got quite a lot of paint in that middle section there. It's, when I picked the canvas up it was still moving so probably not going to have a very good result in the centre there. But hopefully on the side where the paint has settled a little bit, I might have some more luck. And then if your paint is still lifting up and making like a little worm type thing, just go again until it's uh, you've got some paint off the surface there. Now I'm going to try a bigger one here and incorporate those cells there if I can. So I want to press down and hopefully touch all of those cells. I'm going to have to go again just to remove some of that paint because it's a little bit of a puddle. So you might have to go two or three times if you've got a lot of paint. I'm just going to try and catch that little cell on the end there if I can because I'm not happy with that one. Yeah, that one didn't work. <laughs> I've got way too much paint there. So some of them work really nicely, others not so nice. So just have a little play around. Oh, that's a pretty one. I've obviously still got too much paint on my surface, but it's getting dark and I'm going to sort of pack up now in my studio. So I just wanted to have a little play before I pack up with this little painting. And you can see if there's too much paint left on the surface, it kind of makes that little wriggle. Of paint so you just need to go back over it again 
Oh, where else can I go? There's so many choices. <laughs> I like to take uh, the cells that have got multicolors in them because those are going to make really pretty petals. And I've zoomed you in so that hopefully you can see properly. So if you've got a painting that's got lots of little cells like this, it usually does make quite pretty little fairy kisses. And don't press too hard. You make too much of a big dent in your surface. Oh, I've still got a heap of paint in there. You can see it actually making a like a little well there and pushing the other paint out of the way. Let's see if I can incorporate that little cell there and maybe make a bigger one there. No, it didn't really work. All right, so my paint obviously is a little bit too uh, wet still. Too much paint on the surface. So play, have a play around. You can have some big ones, some little ones. Just try and go in the center of the cell so that it's pulling the, the cells down and that's what creates your petal look. I really like this little guy. This <laughs> little guy, he's cute. Well, that's a pretty one. How about up here? And then maybe a bigger one. And I've got some paper towel here next to me. And I'm just wiping my little balloons off on to keep everything nice and tidy. Let's go in the middle of that little busy area just there. Eh? Now th this one the paint started falling back so I'm going to go over that one again. You may have to go over them a few times. You can tell if the paint's starting to fall back and you're losing your design then you know that those ones are the ones that you need to go back over. And I think it's really nice to have some big ones and some little ones. This is only a small canvas, so I'm not going to get a, um, a glove and blow that up and use that because it would be too big. Just these little water balloons are fine for what I need to create here. Still way too much paint. Probably could have left it till tomorrow morning actually. Um, in fact, I may I may come back tomorrow morning and go over these because the paint's still going to be wet. My paint takes about five days to dry. Uh, in winter, if I've got a very thick coating, it might take seven days. Just made that one a little bit bigger by pushing a bit harder to incorporate the surrounding cells. I'll do that here as well. Just to incorporate a few more cells. How's it looking? Pretty? They look like little fairies. Now here I've got quite a big space in the centre. But there's cells relatively around there. So if I go right into that centre with my bigger balloon... Hopefully I'll incorporate all those cells straight up. Don't twist, don't turn. And again, oh, that's brought up some yellow. Look at that. Well, it's lime green, but that's pretty, isn't it? This one needs going over again. So I think I will come back in the morning and... Just go over them again. I found if you wait until your paint is too dry, when you do your dip, it makes a little point 
and then when your painting's dry you can actually see the points which means you have to give it quite a few coats of um, gloss to then smooth it over again so you don't see those little points I really like doing this. I'm just going to get rid of that bit of paper towel and put down a fresh one. And you just keep going and going, you know, don't overdo it. Well, it all depends on how much you want to do. Just need to take a little bit more off that one. This one looks a bit lopsided. I kind of wanted to include maybe this cell here as well. So I'm going to go again, see if I can incorporate that cell. Oh, there we go. And then just take a little bit more paint off it. It kind of looks like a double, doesn't it? A double whammy. That's better. These cells here are gorgeous, aren't they, with the yellow rings? So pretty. Now, I kind of need something in the, in the top corner here. What about if I go just in the middle there? Oh, that's a pretty one too. See how the paint on the corners there, or on the edges, I should say, it's much thinner, so I get a better result. Whereas the ones in the middle here, the paint is still... Um, a lot thicker because it's kind of all gone into the center so the, the flowers or little fairy kisses in the center aren't necessarily as good as these ones on the edges but if I left it for tomorrow hopefully they would all be more like that one let's see if I can incorporate that make a pointer that little cell there into that flower there we go I did it <laughs> so you can add to your your little fairy kisses you know you think oh I want to add an extra little petal go for it just have to push down a little bit harder to incorporate more now this little area here one two three if I go right in the middle of that I should just get a, a little three petaled flower how's that little cutie oh and look at it it's got pale blue around the edges and it's got that darker greeny color in the middle it's really cute That one's falling back on itself. Still falling back on itself. A lot of paint there, obviously. There is a lot in that middle section there. It's bringing up some pretty colours from underneath. So wherever you have a little cluster, See here, there's just those two, there's that cell and that cell. I wouldn't do it there because it would just be like an elongated area. I don't think it would be all that attractive. This one's falling back into itself again. And see, I'm taking too much off. See how it's losing its little shape there? Um, it's, it's getting kind of bald there. So what I need to do is I need to take some paint from here, leave it on my balloon and just transfer it over there it still hasn't really worked all that nicely I'm gonna see if I can incorporate that cell there see sometimes you can just overdo it and then it you know you do it too much and you kind of ruin it so you have to sort of learn to know when to stop um, but yeah it just it really comes down to the amount of time that you leave your paint on the surface I should have left it a little bit longer, but I wanted to try it. Now, there's three there. Let's see if I can go into the middle of those three. Pull them up. That's pretty. This one needs dipping again to remove some paint. See, so there's some really, really pretty ones, and then there's some you. Don't like you. What am I going to do about you? I moved over a little bit this way to incorporate those purple cells just to see if that would help. Okay, let's do a few more. 
on the edges. Oops, there's a little bit too much paint there as well. Mm, oh, there's a spot. Lots of little spots, isn't there? <laughs> You can really get carried away <laughs> and not know when to stop. But I was, I thought, well, what can I do with this painting? Because I was just doing that tutorial on how to get big cells and then how to get little cells. And these are the little cells, obviously. So I thought, well, let's just turn it into something else. Little fairy kisses. But not too many. You know, you want to leave some background and some cells on their own so a good amount I guess but not too many oh that one is pretty I think I need something up in this corner up here there's not a lot up there and there's not a lot of good cells to work with up in that corner either and of course your edges are a bit stretched so they're a bit difficult to work with Hope you guys can see okay I've zoomed you in hopefully you're getting a good shot of everything um, let's have a look I'll walk around this way and see what it looks like see if there's anywhere else that I want to add some cells to I think this one needs to go over again and that one Needs to go over that one again. Same with this one. Paint's fallen back in. Yeah, that one I've kind of ruined, I think. Let's move it over a bit. So some are going to be beautiful, some are not going to be as beautiful. That's okay. Um, yeah, just try and pick an area that's going to look as if it's going to make a really pretty little balloon dip. Fairy kiss. A little tiny one in there. I'm nearly out of spots. Little one in there, little tiny one in there. See, the, the less pressure you push down on, the smaller your little uh, fairy kiss is going to be. So if you press down really hard, it spreads the paint more and uh, more cells will be drawn in. And if you just press very, very lightly, you're only going to get a few little cells drawn in. So that's the difference. You can make big ones and little ones. And I think I'm done, you guys. <laughs> that was fun. Did you like that? <laughs> I will probably just um, come and look at it tomorrow morning when my paints have had a chance to to dry a little bit. Especially these bigger ones, they're looking a little bit messy to me. Well, that's better. But then if you leave it too late, you know, the paint... It just doesn't work as well either, so. All right, I think I'll just leave that there. Okay, oops, balloon stuck to me. Hope you enjoyed that, that was fun. Oops, what am I doing? I'm trying to, oh, trying to zoom in and it's just changing the light. <laughs> I'll take you down for a quick close-up. If it's going to focus.
That purple with the turquoise is really pretty, isn't it? Really nice. Camera keeps changing colours. If I zoom in, it goes really light. Those lime ones are gorgeous too. Look at that. Really pretty. And I've still got some background. And I've still got some plain cells. Yeah, so there you go. Happy with that. Alrighty, thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you for the next four. Here we go. It's focused again. All right. Bye for now.